everybody ready? Let's talk about it. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Janae, back with another one. So happy Saturday morning to you guys. Hope y'all doing well. I just wanted to give an update to the video I did two days ago regarding Chris, okay? So the well, the video I did was questioning whether Shanae had anything to do with Chris's demise, all right? So for those of you who don't know, Chris has passed away, and Nasha confirmed it in the comments of that video that I did. Nasha is Freddie's cousin. Freddie, Shanae's husband that we met on My 600 Pound Life, that's, Nasha is Freddie's cousin, okay? So Nasha and Shanae were friends. Nasha was staying with Shanae during the time Shanae met Chris, okay? Shanae met Chris first and she started taking him to work. And shortly after that, um, they had a little, you know, a little friendship. Shortly after that, Nasha met Chris with Shanae, okay? So Shanae wanted to be with Chris. Shanae liked Chris on a romantic level and Chris didn't like her. Chris liked Nasha. So Chris started kicking it with Nasha and Shanae got highly upset to, to a point where she would stop talking to Nasha. She went on the internet, she bashed Nasha, she showed pictures of Nasha, all kinds of things she did with Nasha on the internet, all because Chris didn't want to be with her. Even though Shanae had her baby daddy and her baby at home, you know, she felt some type of way. All right. So like I said, Shanae, um, she put pictures of Nasha all over the internet, a whole bunch of stuff. They stopped talking and she went in on Nasha and, you know, it was a, it was a time. All right. You could check out some of the other videos to see that. So anywho, Chris took Nasha and they started having a relationship and they ended up, you know, residing together. I must say, Nasha, I'm sorry for your loss. You know, I hate that it happened to him. I hope you can move, you know, forward. I hope that God gives you the strength to continue moving. Rest in peace, Chris. And, you know, I hope it just gets better for you. So, like I said, I did the video. Nasha dropped in the comments and she said that Shanae had nothing to do with Chris's demise. Chris, to me, from what I've seen, he was a decent enough guy. I could see why Shanae liked him because he had a job. He had his own teeth. He wasn't slow. He wasn't getting a special check. You know, those are the type of people that Shanae liked. It's not like, you know, he was <laughs> a bum. He was doing, to me, it seemed like he was doing okay for himself, you know? So kudos to him. She was finally trying to step up in life and get with someone decent. So at the rate Shanae be going with the threatening of people and the pulling up and doing this, remember, she was stalking the man. After the man decided he didn't want to be with her. Remember back in September when her... And her, her mom and um, baby Zach, they pulled up on him. This was September, 2023. This is after everything was done with and he didn't want to be with her. She pulled up on him, driving around on him in that parking lot. And then you see January of this year, 2024, he, the video that I showed where he was saying um, she was bringing dudes around, you know, by his house. So it's normal for people to think, hey, what's going on? Maybe, who knows? Maybe she wait till it died down. Who knows? But anywho, this is what I want to say. Shanae, you need to stop what you be doing. All this threatening folks. That's why people on that other video, people call you asking you if you had anything to do with it, with the with his demise. Because you be doing too much. Threatening people. You the big bad wolf. And don't play with me. I want to make an example of people. Yeah. That's why people are looking to you like, did you have anything to do with it? But like I said, Nasha, she cleared it up. She said that Shanae had nothing to do with it. And that, um, you know, yeah. Like I said, I'm sorry for your loss, Nasha. You know, I think Chris was okay type of dude. And, you know, I hate that happened to him. But, Shanae, you need to stop what you're doing, all right? And that way people won't be thinking that you have stuff, something to do with someone's demise. Look how easily you could have been brought into the, the interrogation room because of your antics. Like, come on, you got to do better. You got a baby and everything. You got to do better. Stop threatening people. But anyway... I will talk to you guys on the next one. Once again, rest in peace, Chris and Nisha. I hope you can heal from this. And I'm sorry for your loss. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Peace. I'm confident. But guess what, baby? I know who I'm confident in. I know how God made me. I feel like a motherfucking heart of a lion. So guess what? Y'all really want to see the real me. Y'all going to see it. Y'all going to see it. Pull up one day. Y'all going to see it. Y'all really gonna see it. Period.
No, I ain't like a mad. People want to play with me. And I ain't the one to get played with because I ain't no motherfucking dog. I ain't no motherfucking toys in the toy store. And I ain't showing no motherfucking PlayStation. So the bitch better get off the motherfucking joystick controller before I really get on their ass. All right, y'all going to find out. I really want to make an example of somebody. That's really what I want to do so y'all can leave me fuck alone.